Hi guys, welcome back to a new video. Today's video is going to be a bit different than the ones that I usually do. And I am doing this video solely due to the demand you guys showed me in the community post I did yesterday. I'm going to show you how to update your Samsung Galaxy to Android 12 manually via the Odin software. Don't worry, I'm going to spoon feed you. We will uh, do all of this in baby steps. Before that, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do so now. A lot of awesome content is on the way and you sure don't want to miss that. I would also like to tell you how and when this video or the method is going to be beneficial. Suppose that a newer version of Android is out, but the update is not available in your region yet and you can't wait. You want to manually update your phone to a new software version of another region or your phone cannot capture the update via OTA due to some other reason and you want to manually side load the new firmware on your phone. Third, you just want to completely wipe off your phone and flash a brand new software. And the fourth reason is your phone is soft bricked and now you need a new software to recover it. Whatever your reason is, this is the guide to follow. In this guide, I will be using my Samsung Galaxy A52s 5G. But this guide is valid for all the Samsung Galaxy phones. I'll be flashing the Android 12 but you guys can use it to flash any newer version of Android in future too. For example, the Android 13 or 14 when it comes out. Remember that this is going to be a method to flash the official Android on your phone. No root permission is required. This is a completely fine and fair method. There are no tricks or no hacks involved here. Last but not the least. Do not use this guide to downgrade your phone. Use this guide just to update the phone to a newer version or reset by reinstalling the currently installed firmware. Let's make some preparations first. Power on your Windows computer. Windows 8, 10, 11, any of these will work. First of all, you need the USB drivers, Samsung USB drivers installed on the computer. Download and install them. After that, you need the Phrygia or the Phrygia tool on the computer. Now this tool is really interesting. It will make our installation a whole lot easier. This tool is going to let you download the Samsung firmware files within a few minutes. We are not going to use any website because using a website will just delay this process. The websites can take hours to download the firmware. We want to download the firmware in just a few minutes and this is a completely free tool. Uh, if you find yourself kind enough, make sure that you donate something to the developer of this tool because I haven't seen a tool as awesome as this one in a while. Download the free here tool and extract it on your computer too. And lastly, you need the Odin 3.14.4 on the computer. Download and extract it too. You can download all these from the link given in the description. I have linked my own text guide in the description that has all the download links to all these tools and also this entire method explained in really simple and easy steps. Now make sure that your phone is charged up to at least 50%. We don't want the phone to die during the installation process. Grab the original data cable of your phone, connect it to the computer beforehand. Furthermore, don't forget to create a backup of your phone as things can sometimes go south. Keep the risk minimum. Follow my instructions carefully. Watch this video twice or thrice if necessary. Grab your phone now and go to its about phone options. Note down the model number of your phone. In my case, the model number is A528B. The DS should be neglected. That's not a part of the model number. Whatever the model number of your phone is, ignore that part that comes after the slash. Now go to the software information of the phone. Scroll down to the service provider information. There you will find the CSE. CSE are these three letters in the second row or in the first row it's written multiple times here. In my case, it is PAK right now. In your case, it can be different depending on your region. Use your country CSE if you know that the latest update is available for your region, but it hasn't arrived on your phone via OTA. Or if the update is not available in your region, but it's available in other regions, use the CSE of that country where the update has rolled out. For example, I'll be using the CSE of Poland. It is XEO. This is because the A52s 5G has got the Android 12 update in Poland and in other countries, in a couple of other countries. Whenever a new update rolls out, hundreds of websites mention which countries have got the update first. 
You can always find the CAC of such a country and use it to download the update. Most of the time, the updates make it to Germany, Poland, Hungary, Finland and the United Kingdom first of all. I have linked a website in the description that mentions the CSE codes for all the countries in the world. Make sure you always use unbranded CSE. Unbranded means a non-carrier country specific code. Now open the Freegia or the Freegia tool on your computer. Type the model number of your phone in the model number tab just like I have done and put the CSE in the CSE tab. As you can see, the auto option should be ticked and now click on the check update button. The tool will now show you Android OS version upon verifying that it's the latest Android version, i.e. the Android 12 in your case. Freehia will now download the firmware, decrypt it and prepare it. Once you have the firmware file downloaded on your computer, just find it, unzip or extract it. Now you will have 5 files, the VL file for the bootloader, AP file which is basically the PDA file with the firmware, the CP file having the phone information and the CSE or home underscore CSE file to having country specific code. I'll explain why you have two CSE files here in a bit. Let's move on to the Odin tool now. Launch the Odin tool on the PC and go to its options. Here the only checked options should be F dot reset time and the auto reboot. Do not touch any other options. Do not touch the pit tab either as it has an entirely different purpose. Get back to the main Odin screen now and click on the BL tab first. Here load the BL file from your extracted files. Load the AP file in the AP tab. This file will take 2-3 to three minutes to load. Do not panic. Similarly, load the CP file into the CP tab. And now comes the CSE tab. Before you add the CSE file, keep this in mind. CSE file will factory reset your device, wiping everything. But the home underscore CSE file will not wipe or erase anything from your phone. Your data remains intact. If you want to factory reset your device, load the CSE file in the CSE tab. Otherwise, load the home underscore CSE file here. I don't want to wipe my phone, so I am gonna use the home underscore CSE file. Alright, here is my Galaxy A52s 5G in my hands, running on the Android 11 right now, as you can see. On your phone, go to the about phone, then software information, and tap the build number for 7 times in order to activate the developer options. Skip this step if you already have the developer options activated. Once you have the developer options, go to the developer options now and enable the OEM unlocking first of all. Similarly, enable the USB debugging from the developer options too. Now it's time to power down your phone. And it's time to enter the download mode now. Make sure your data cable is connected to the computer. and. Press and hold the volume up plus volume down keys of your phone like this. While keeping these keys pressed, plug the USB-C cable into your phone.
your phone will automatically boot up and it will show you a warning like this. Press the volume up button to enter the download mode. You can read all this information if you want, but if you just don't want to read it, just simply press the volume up button and enter the download mode in order to prepare your phone for the software flashing. In the meanwhile, the Odin will show you added in the logs and it will also show you a blue light in the IDCOM box verifying the connection. It just means that the connection in download mode is successful. Now verify everything once again, make sure all the files are in place, the phone is connected properly, your laptop is connected to the charger or your PC won't die during the installation process. Making sure everything's good, hit the start button in Odin. Your phone will now show you progress at the bottom of the screen and Odin will also show you detailed progress and logs in all of its tabs. Monitor it as the software flashing goes ahead. Once Odin says reset, after flashing, you can disconnect your phone from the computer. Now let the phone boot up. This can take a few minutes, do not panic here. As the phone boots up, you will have the new software running on it. And that's pretty much it. Congratulations, you have the latest software running on your phone now. I hope this was so easy for you guys. If you guys still have any questions or if you have run into any kind of issues, make sure you reach out to me through the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video. With that being said, I will sign off and see you all in the next one.